on my search for the best trick ever, I met up with Blake Voigt. Blake's a magic boy genius whose experience far outweighs his years in the business. It was also a great excuse to get a donut. How are you, buddy? What's up, man? Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm see pretty good. Ride. Yeah, door's busted. I'm not just trying to look. That's a cool exit. How are you? Cool exit. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> this is Connie. Connie, this is Blake. Nice to meet you, Connie. Let's get a donut. Yes, please. I fucking love this place. Yeah. Hi there, how are you? What's on the Texas glaze? It's just a bigger glazed donut. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, we'll, get, we'll definitely get one of those. One of those? OK. Anything else? You want a coffee? Uh, can I do a milk, actually? The 2% whole milk or chocolate milk? Uh, whole milk, please. It's so American. I'll, I'll have a milk, too. Why not? How you doing? What's your name? Thank you. My name is Sandra. Sandra, I'm James. Nice hey, to meet you. What's your name? I'm Sharik. Sharik, nice, nice to meet you, man. Can I show you a magic trick? Cool? I think I can show you some magic, too. Oh, cool. <laughs> Shriek, do you have a, a dollar bill I could just borrow for the trick? So this is the bill we'll use, so if you can hold on to that. And then what I want you to do to make sure it's the same one from the beginning to end, can you just write your name on it or put your initials on there or something? That way we know it's the same bill. Now, are you right or left-handed? Right. So with your right hand, I'm gonna have you grab right here mm -hmm. and don't let go of her bill till the very end. Yep. I'm going to fold the corner of the bill down, mm -hmm. kind of creasing it, Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to mark it in a way that makes it really unique. Just okay. like this. So I'll make it a little bigger. That's cool. You see that? All right, we'll just go, go nuts for it, right? And Sharik, with your other go hand, all out. with your other hand, do you mind grabbing right here and just rip it off? You saw that. He did that. I didn't do that, right? <laughs> OK. That'll be important at the end. All right, okay? hey, you tore I'm it. I'm not worried about it, dollar. OK, so don't let, <laughs> don't let go. I ain't going to let it I'm go. I'm going to take this piece, though. If you were to guess how this trick was going to end, you just assume I'm going to put it back together, right? Right. Yeah. Boring. Right? This right, is where the trick is. gets interesting. Watch. Oh, no. I was happy to see it was a newer bill. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been a wet, old, yeah. musty <laughs> bill mm -hmm. from a bra. I would have done a different trick. <laughs> All, right. All, right. All, right. All right. So here's the bill, right? Yeah, right? I guess so. Now, really, when you think about it, nothing impressive has happened yet, right? Right. I borrowed a bill, you signed it, you tore it. Right. All I've done is eaten something, right. which anybody can do, right? Right. But you haven't let go yet, right? No. Watch. Ah! <laughs> what just happened? Here's your dollar back. <laughs> go ahead and pull on it, make sure it's not just balanced on there. Stop being nervous. <laughs> it's a magic bill. <laughs> you know you can do the same trick with a donut? Watch, ready? Take a bite out of it. Me? Mm -hmm. Shake it. It goes back together. <laughs> you can do that one yourself. <laughs> So I've only done this professionally for like five years, create magic professionally. I've been doing magic since I was eight, but I've worked for so many high level people that I feel like the five years of experience I've had is similar to most people's like 15. So I dropped out of college. Both my parents told me to drop out. I moved to Vegas and I worked for Copperfield for a year. That's amazing. And then uh, I flew to London, and I worked for a magician named Dynamo there sure. for six months. I moved in with David Blaine and lived on his couch for six months, working on his magic special. You sound like a magic prostitute. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. And I this just guy go around. Mercedes house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I've had jobs before where people were like, did you keep your best secrets? Did you yeah. not tell Blaine the good ones? And I was like, no, because I feel like if, if you have an idea that you think is the best one you'll ever create, yeah. then you're right. Yeah. Then like you won't ever come up with anything better. Um, but if you give it away or work with other people on it, then you'll just move on to the next best thing. Any trick you wish you had have invented? Yes. I feel like the very smart ones where I was like, oh, if I just would have played with that sure. a little, a bit, little long. bit longer, <laughs> I would have thought of that. Yeah. Like when I see a really good trick, instead of being happy, I get a little mad. Yeah, sure. You know, just being completely honest. Yeah. Like, I wish I would have come up with that. What do you think is the reason that magicians are weird? I think it takes a, a certain type of weirdness to want to practice, like, the art of lying to people. And there's so much 
alone time that goes into it. A lot of normal people would not be willing to go through yeah. the amount of hours it takes to become a magician. Especially because a lot of it, you're practicing to make people not see something right. as well. So, right. so you spend how long learning for us to right. never see that you're doing that? Right. Or the fact that I spent approximately 120 seconds performing a trick with a dollar bill that took me two hours earlier to yeah. set up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's that. <laughs> Like, who, who in their right mind would do that? <laughs> so, what's the most common question?